Hi, so I want to show you how to move your personal files and my documents from one drive to another. So the scenario is this. The scenario is that you might have a SSD as your C drive and you don't want to take up all the space from your personal files. So you want to move it to a secondary drive, a D drive, and have your C drive using say the programs and also the system files such that the programs itself loads faster while the personal files are stored in a different disk. So how do you do that? So the first thing you want to do is um, make sure you have your my my documents here and the way you do that is go under settings or you could also right click and say personalize. Now go under settings, go under personalization and go to themes and go to desktop icons and make sure you have your user files and my computer and recycle bin check so now these icons appear and the second thing you want to do is go to your personal documents so if you open these documents up what you're gonna do for example is right click on each one of these so the first one I'm gonna do is the documents here and you'll notice each one of these folders have a location and you want to change this location so for example I want to move this to the D drive and so I'm gonna change this to D and first the first thing I'm gonna do is create some files here and I'm gonna show you that after I create these files it's actually gonna move it automatically or it's gonna prompt you for moving it so in my documents I have these files and I'm gonna click apply and you'll notice it says here do you want to create it and in the background here I have my D drive and you'll see it's gonna create that folder and I'm gonna say yes and it's gonna say do you want to move these files and I'm gonna say yes and I'm gonna say okay and, and you'll notice here it created the folder and in this folder is a few documents that I have and I'm gonna do the same thing with the other folders so if I go back again to my other folders I am gonna right click and there's a location tab on each one of these and I am gonna move each one of these to the D drive and once again it's gonna prompt me for the creation so this is the correct way to do it uh, because it creates these system folders for each one of these types of different files as you'll notice here when I click OK it creates the icon for it and especially with the desktop so for example I'm gonna create a file here on my desktop once again and show you that it does in fact move these files over so uh, currently it's stored in my C drive and you'll notice there's the two files that I created and I'm gonna right click on this desktop icon and once again there is a location folder and I'm gonna hit apply and it's gonna prompt me again to create and to move and once again once I click OK you'll see that the desktop icon is moved over and you'll see it is in fact the D drive that it's in now one thing I want to caution here and I'm gonna show you the second method of how to do this and that you might want to sync this up is there seems to be some contradiction here in Windows 10 so for example I am going to go into the settings so once again you're gonna do that for each one of these you know your favorites folder there's a location you're gonna change it from C to D and so on and so forth for each one of these now if you go to the settings again on the start menu there is actually a folder here under system you click on system there's a storage folder here and it's gonna prompt you to create files in you know the C or D drive now if I pick D drive that this is where it conflicts with that method and I'll demonstrate what it actually does in that it doesn't create the folder hierarchy of users it goes straight to the user itself so for example 
you'll notice here after I've done that it created a username and they'll create the folders here so what you want to do is you might want to once again go into the settings and go into storage system and then storage and change this first to your D drive and then after you've changed it to your D drive because the because that method when when you're creating new folders might be picked up by other programs as a system setting so by default it might point you to this directory here you might want to go back to your my documents under properties under location point it back to this folder here without the nested hierarchy so for example I might just say D you know Johnny documents so that it points to this folder instead of by default this folder anyway uh, you know that that really depends on whether you want to consolidate all of your documents into that one folder which is something I would recommend but in general that is how you point or repoint your files from one drive to the other so those are the two methods and I hope this helped and uh, you know please subscribe and thank you for watching